Hello, it's Elga here from Little Hand Sure Start Community Library and wanted to share some Easter stories with you today that you can share with your child and your children at home and especially friends and family and indeed grandparents. Normally this time of year, exactly at this time, um, the community library would go out into the community and into our schools and deliver Easter stories and obviously under the current circumstances that just isn't possible. So I thought it'd be nice just to bring Easter stories to you at home. To all our principals and staff and to children and parents of Academy Nursery School, Val McGrody and Hazelbank Community Partnerships Parent and Toddler Group, Balugri Primary School, Dunluce Family Centre, Galeskoy Nadarga, Glenview Community Centres Parent and Toddler Group, Grorty Primary School, Holy Family Primary School, Little Hand Sure Start Developmental Programme for two to three year olds at both our Ringford Road and Rosemount sites, Little Hand Sure Start Parent and Toddler Group at Brook Park, The Model Primary School, Rosemount Primary School, St Anne's Primary School, St Bernadette's Playgroup, St Ethna's Primary School, the Treehouse Crash, and to all our parents and children that attend our weekly programmes in the Community Library. Baby Story and Rhyme Time, Toddler Story and Rhyme Time and Book and Bear. The first story is Easter Bugs and this is a pop-up book as well as Lift the Flap. Spring has sprung and left winter behind. I wonder how many Easter bugs you can find. Who's in the dip-dyed rainbow egg? I wonder who could be hiding in here. Ready, steady, go. Clip, plop, clip, plop. It's the shiny silver raindrop box. And don't forget your umbrella. Who is in the golden egg? I wonder who could be hiding in here. Ready, steady, go! A little buzzing bee. Coming out from the flowers. That's right. Who is in the red speckled egg? Ready, steady, go! And there's his little eyes popping up from a blooming magenta flower. A deep, deep. Who is in the purple peekaboo egg? There's Fluffy and Yellow. I wonder what it could be. Ready, steady, go! It's our chick chick Fluffy chick chick bug. And who's in the egg with the baby blue dots? Ready, steady, go! Look, the Easter bunny bug with 
with his ears popping up from inside the egg. Who's in the jeweled egg that will make you squirm? Mmm, I wonder what bug would rhyme with squirm. Ready? Steady? Go! Ooh, a worm! And look what happens when I touch it. Are you ready? Easter box. And you know, you can make up stories whenever you like with lots of props. And our next Easter story is about a very special little man. He is called a leprechaun. And his name is Sean the Leprechaun. Would you like to see him? He is Sean the Leprechaun. And Sean the Leprechaun lives in a lovely cottage deep in a forest in Ireland. Would you like to see his cottage? Well, there's his cottage. And every morning, Sean the Leprechaun would get up and he would come outside and he would sit in his garden and he would sing a lovely song and that would waken up all his friends in the forest. But today Sean the Leprechaun was very sad. Do you know why he was sad? He couldn't remember where he left his wee crock of gold, his little pot of gold. He couldn't remember where he left it, so he was very sad. Well, his first friend came to visit him, as he did every morning. It was Danny the Dormouse. And Danny the Dormouse came to Sean the Leprechaun and said, Sean, why are you not singing your lovely song and waking up all your friends in the forest as you do every morning? And Sean said, Oh, Danny, I'm 
are so sad. Whatever's the matter? said Danny. I can't remember where I left my wee crock of gold. Oh dear, said Danny the Dormouse. I know, maybe you left it under your bed. And Sean the Leprechaun said, no, I didn't Danny. I've searched the cottage from top to bottom and I can't find it. Well, Danny the Dormouse sat beside Sean the Leprechaun and waited. Next, Sean the Leprechaun's next friend came to visit him. It was Sally the Squirrel. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Sean. Oh dear. Why are you so sad, Sean? Why are you not singing your lovely song and waking up all your friends in the forest as you do every morning? And Sean the Leprechaun told Sally exactly what had happened and why he was so sad. Oh Sally, whatever's the matter, said Sally. I can't remember where I left my wee crock of gold. Oh dear, said Sally. I know, maybe you left it under your bed. No, said Sean the Leprechaun. I've looked everywhere and I can't remember where I left it. Oh dear, said Sally the Squirrel. And she thought very carefully. I know who will know, Sean. And she whispered in his ear. Oswald the owl will know, because all owls are very smart and very wise. Well, no sooner had she said that, and Oswald the owl flew down and landed in the garden beside Sally and Danny and Sean. Whatever is the matter with you, Sean, today? Why are you not singing your lovely song and waking us all up as you do every morning? Oh, Oswald, I really do hope you can help me. Whatever is the matter, Sean? remember where I left my wee crock of gold. Oh now Sean, where do leprechauns leave their wee crocks of gold? Do you know? Well Sean thought and Oswald the Owl said, at the end of the rainbow No sooner had Oswald the Isle said that than Sean, Danny, Sally and Oswald the Isle himself looked up to the sky and there was the rainbow. We crock of gold. Well, Sean the Leprechaun was so happy. He just burst into song. The song that he sings every morning to wake up all his friends. Sean the Leprechaun.
Capricorn certainly found his rainbow. And I hope that every one of you will find your rainbow this Easter. The rainbows always seem to be a sign of hope and happiness and good luck. And many of our children are drawing lovely pictures of rainbows. Well, there's a very, very, very famous film and it came to our screens in 1939, The Wizard of Oz. And there's a lovely song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which we can listen to now.